Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to do a very quick um, unboxing stroke walkthrough of the Moonology Manifestation Oracle Cards by Yasmin Boland, who this has just arrived today. Um, and I just thought rather than leave it and um, put it in the queue of the other unboxings that I've got to do, seeing as we've got a full moon in Aries tonight and tomorrow, um, I thought I would just do it and show it to you while we've got a full moon. Seems very appropriate. So this is a 48 card deck. It's got a guidebook. It's by Yasmin Boland, who wrote the Moonology book and has produced the other Moonology deck. Um, this is about manifesting with the moon energy, though. So it's got a bit of a different take. These are produced by Hay House. Um, so they're in their normal little hay house type box um two part box if i can get it open which probably won't work sometimes you just get a bit of air trapped in there and it's really hard to open it up so we just give it a good heave oh it is really difficult okay that's that i'm obviously feeling a little bit weak and feeble today so this is the box Immunology. And the little message in here is attune to the moon and manifest miracles. So that's a lovely message. So we've got the usual little guidebook here. I won't read everything that's there. I'll pop it there. So if you want to do a freeze frame and read it through, you can do. Um, but it's basically saying manifesting with the moon has never been easier. And it's just got... Let's have a quick look and see what we've got in here. Look at the contents. So she's got an introduction to the magical lunar cycle. So the new moon, the first quarter moon, the full moon, the last quarter moon. And, and then working with the cards, she's got some um, instructions there about how to work with the cards. Talks about the elements, day, the planetary days and hours. So there's a lot of information there. So new moon cards, first quarter cards, full moon cards, and then there'll be the last quarter cards there as well. Then there's a little introduction and loads of information. There's a spread there and another spread there. And then she goes into actually talking about the cards and what they might be talking about. So there's a manifesting focus, there's a mindset, there's a manifesting tips, um, as an affirmation and there's a time that is a good time to work with that particular energy so there's loads and loads and loads and loads of information in there um i think probably it'd be a good idea to have read her moonology book perhaps to just get a grip of what she's talking about with the moon although there's a lot of detail here so without actually reading it through you probably could just pick this up and start working with it um, but I would be tempted to have a look at the Moonology book first so that you're kind of familiar with the phases and all of that kind of thing. So that's the little book. And then we've got the cards. So you've got the lovely full moon in there. Let's just have a look and see what we've got. Take the little tape off. OK, so this is the backs. Well, these are the backs um, of the cards. Really, really lovely. Um, it's a really lovely colours. They're all kind of quite muted sort of pinks and blues and silvers and just really lovely. So really nice cardstock. The usual Hay House cardstock, quite thick. Um, yeah, so definitely... Um, Good quality in terms of cardstock, borderless, really, really nice. So I'll just have a little flip through of the cards and show you them as we go along. So these are the new moon cards. So this seems to be just an image and then the star sign glyph here that we're associating it with this is in Aries and then a, a kind of brief message really So 
So the colours on the background are kind of associated in with the elements. So there's kind of reds for the fires and um, greens for the earth signs. Um, much more sort of pinky, sort of light bluey energy for the um, air signs. And then the greeny, bluey, wateries for the water signs. So that's our new moon cards. And these are the first quarter. They do stick together a little bit because they're on that kind of matte stock. But once you've had them a while and you've got the air into them, you've shuffled them a bit. They, they soon start to separate. So that's our first quarter. <laughs> so this is full moon in Aries. And that is exactly what we have right now. Um, <laughs> it's kind of said, call your emotions. Well, you know what? That's not easy for an Aries. <laughs> Can turn you into a bit like a Mrs. Angry, the full moon in Aries, especially if you are an Aries. Um, it's definitely got loads of energy. It's about channeling that, though, into the right place. I love these full moon cards. Full moon is my favourite. I just love the energy of it. And it is tiring sometimes, but it's just so beautiful to look at. And I love the little messages down the bottom here, just to give you a little snippet of something without having to read through loads of information in the book. I mean, you can, of course, if you want to, but you don't have to. You've just got these little bite-sized pieces of information. That's your full moon. And then this is the last quarter. those are really great now obviously i have to have a bit of a better look at how to work with those exactly um because i haven't actually had a chance to even look at the book at the moment so let's just have a look and see what it says in the book about the full moon in aries soon as that is what we have right now um and see if i can actually find it in Aries so call your emotions so a manifesting balance is seek balance between you 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 and me 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 so Aries is very much a self-based card it's all about you know me and what I want and what I'm gonna do it's you know the, the prefix really with um, Aries is I am um, so you might need to address that. You might need to look at whether, whether A, you're being too much, I want, I want, I want, or I am, I am, I am, or whether you're too focused on giving to other people. It's about balance. Um, so it says here, manifest in mindset. There is no point in pretending that you don't have intense feelings. As this blocks your manifesting powers, you need to work through the feelings and... Um, kind of either thinking about the people involved or if if it's something that you need to work on within you um, so that you can forgive them or forgive yourself. So you're letting go of the anger, really, it's because it can be a little bit Mrs. Angry or Mr. Angry with the full moon in Aries. Um, so there is all of that um, to be said. And then I won't read all of it because otherwise we'll be here forever. Um, 
your manifestation affirmation though is out of this only good will come so it's a really really perfect time um to send out a wish send out a, a, a kind of intention to the universe that says no matter what i focus on now only good will come of this it's a really really positive lovely energy so i hope that has been interesting it looks like a really lovely deck i'm interested to see how i'm going to work on it a little bit more see if i can work through how to what i'm going to do with it exactly because i'm still not quite sure but it's beautiful imagery is beautiful Yasmin Bowen's stuff is always great. It's always well explained. She's she's good, really, really good. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a good old thumbs up, share it, like it, subscribe to my channel, and all those good things because they really help the channel to grow. Just noticed today I'm at five 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 subscribers. So that's absolutely brilliant. Um, really hoping to carry on building the channel um it's a long feels like a long way off um i've had the channel for a long time but i've really been trying hard to get my subscribe subscriptions up so that i can get to a thousand subscribers which means i can then go live and do more things with on the, on the ipad rather than having to do it on the pc which is really difficult to get all the camera angles right um so once i've got my thousand subscribers i'll be able to go live and do live readings and all kinds of good things um so you know if you know people that like this kind of stuff please share and hopefully we can get to that thousand subscribers sooner rather than later it's a it's still a little way off i'm just over halfway there at 555 so fantastic i'm really really pleased with that and really looking forward to doing some more videos thanks very much for watching bye for now